As you know, I'm not allowed to bet MVP. I did notice. Wait, can that I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predict in my head who I like. Don't don't say Tatum 18 to one. Stop with that. Let's, no. Let's, Celtics look great. Celtics 14 0 at home. That's what it is, right? Yeah. 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 Pretty good. All right. They. I got to say, I was impressed. They had the back to back against Cleveland. Mm-hmm. And then the back-to-back against Orlando at home all in the same week. And it's like, all right, which one are they going to play the shit game in and lose, right? There's no way they're going to play well in all four of these. Didn't happen. They won all four of them. It was impressive. Yeah. They Good. wouldn't have done that. Last year, they were the Bullman. So Halliburton 20-1. to one. That's nope. what you're saying. Ooh. Well, you told me Devin Booker a couple weeks ago. You still like that? I just like the odds. It was 26-1. to one. But no, the Suns look like... I, I'm a little worried about them. All right, I give up. Who? Oh. SGA, 10-1. to 1. Ooh. Ooh. So, here's the case. Well, he, he did it again last night. He hit the, I don't know if you saw it, but Denver's up one. Mm-hmm. They run the worst play ever for, you know, the, this trend where these teams try to kill the clock. Like 35 seconds left. That's like, let's burn as much clock as possible and then get a terrible three with two seconds left. Um, and SGA, they don't call timeout. And he comes down and just nails a shot. But so OKC right now, they're 16 and eight. They're second in the West. They're plus 6.8 di- in a point differential. And I think they're going to be a top three team if they don't do anything. Mm-hmm. But they have all the shit to trade. And the combo of like, I think you have to be a top two seed to be an MVP. I think you have to be one of the best five players in the league and one of the most valuable guys in your league. And you also be having to be having a really good season. He's averaging almost 31 points a game. Mm-hmm. Like he's a first team all NBA guy by any calculation. And if they make a trade and end up being like a 55 or 53 win team, something like that, I just think his odds should be better. So I was surprised because right now it's Jokic is plus 210, Luca's plus 430. And by the way, you compare Shea to Luca. Mm-hmm. OKC's team is doing better and, and his stats are just as good and his end of the game stats, he's probably one of the best end of the game guys in the league. And beat is plus 430. Giannis is plus 850. Shea is 10 to 1. Tatum's 18 to 1. But to me, Shea should be second in odds right now. I think it should be Jokic and, and Shea. All right, let me so, tell you why I, I like this and why I hate it. Okay. I like it because I think it's important in these things for a guy you you're suggesting to get votes. I, I feel like votes are important in these things. <laughs> like, you know, so like people scream about McCaffrey. I'm like, that's not a good bet. Running backs don't get votes ever. Right. Stop it. I don't care what you're seeing on your TV. Uh SGA was fifth in votes last year. Right. So he gets, you know, he's got some I, I don't think you voted for him. And that's what I hate NBA. about. Him. I voted yeah. for him fourth, I think, for MVP last year. All right, so he gets votes. So he's among, he's in that group of uh, the select few that get votes. What I hate is you typically give me like four guys to, to bet on for MVP, and I just think it's like you and Dr. J. Just it's a practical joke on me. You're just <laughs> laughing. You're just laughing. Or no, you in house. As always, every time I do this, yeah. it's always about the value the odds. of yeah. the odds in the moment. Mm-hmm. And like when Booker was twenty six to one, it was just those are pretty good odds because it seemed like Phoenix had a chance to be really good. And the more we watch them. I think Phoenix mm-hmm. has a lot of flaws. I don't think they have any chance of being a top three team. So he but, averaged 31 last year, though. You know that, right? I mean, I know you know that. Yeah, but so their team is way better. And I, yeah, I think if okay. the team, had, they're 40 and 42 last year, and he was mm-hmm. number five MVP. This year, 16 and eight. And I think the thing, they're also, I think, the highest scoring team in the league or, or their highest scoring team in the West. But what I like is the trade possibility because they have expiring contracts. They have all these picks. Like they might go get Lori Markkinen. Right. You know, they could get, I don't know, so like pick anybody to put in there. And, and you know, what if they got, even if they got like Terry Rogier from OKC, they're going to get one more guy and they're going to get one more big guy. So, anyway. And then, so what seed will they end up with for him to, what, how high, where do they have to get? So this was my big prediction this year was I thought they were a 50-win team because of their youth and because they had a good guy and they had stuff to trade. Mm. I think they are unquestionably a top three seed because the thing with young teams is they're they're just healthier and there's less variance with them. They're just good every game because they're not, mm. it's not like the Clippers where you're like, I don't know if James Harden is going to show up tonight because he's 34 years old. So 
with them, like 16 and eight is the right record. You could argue they actually blew a couple of games they should have won. But that means they're on pace for 48 and 24. So they're, they're on pace for like 54, 55 wins. And that's before the trade. So they're going to add right. one more piece to this. The other thing is they hit with Kaysan Wallace, the guard they took. Like, that guy's good. He's playing for them. He hits threes. So, um, All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bet it. And I'm not telling it, you to bet it. it. I'm no, just no, saying listen, I like the it value. If it doesn't even have to win. But if he doesn't get 50, po- 50 votes, which he had, you know, 46 last year, if he doesn't get 50, you have to ask Murph what his deal is and what he <laughs> believes and what he I'll, has. I'll until, do a podcast with Murph. Yeah. Until he answers. You have to repeatedly ask, ask him <laughs> until he answers. That's your punishment. Doesn't get 50 well, votes. I thought Jokic was going to cruise, but Denver's down to 17 and 10. Yeah. And I don't know. Are they going to get to 50 wins? And, they, you know, and beat versus Jokic has at least been an argument for the first third of the season. But I think Shea, when you look at how young that team is, mm-hmm. right? This is Chet's first year. It's Jalen Williams' is second year. They have that whole Josh Giddy situation, which nobody knows how that's going to play out. They don't really have a deep bench. I think the fact that they're, a top two seed is pretty great. So that's the right. case. All right. I already bet Giannis. I have to, at the end of the year, I do have like four guys to look at. So I, you might, I might as well have SGA in there. I like the Giannis bet too. Giannis for the year is 31.6, 10.7 rebounds and five assists already. So, yeah, you know, but I just don't like the odds as much. <laughs> <laughs> 